you so much. I loved you in Danceville. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. it's one of my favorite movies. Great, I'm so glad. That was amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, I just said You know, have a good one. Oh, hello. What would you like me to sign? Oh, if only I had a green space helmet. I'm sorry? You should know what I'm talking about, Camilla. I have friends. Friends who write blogs. This could be all over the internet. Are you threatening me? Let's just say, the sky will be my old lady's kiss, sap, ziggity, quantum, platis, duress. Let's discuss this over steak and martinis. Um, okay. Son of a bitch. Oh, and that jerk still has my favorite jean jacket. Gosh. I just let people use me. I'm like an empty vessel just waiting to be filled up by the next jerk face with no heart. No, don't say that. Listen, you might be mixed up now, sure, but listening to you talk, I can tell that you have a very, very large heart, and it's just waiting to please the right person. I'm so sorry. I never meant to threaten you. I was just so upset about my boyfriend. I didn't know what I was doing. And you have been so kind to listen to me ramble on. It's not a problem. Besides, I like any excuse to get martinis at Chevy Chase Night Terrace. Oh, no. Tara? I knew you would do this. This is completely unwarranted. Reese, what are you doing here? Don't give me that. You know I come here every week for the Jim Jarmusch meetup. No, I don't. I this swear. This needs to stop. The texts, the emails to Heather, the letters you left on my car. You set the alarm off twice. And now this. Seriously? Reese, I'm really Seriously? just here trying to have dinner with. Hi, I'm Beth Jensen. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you are. And you're a hack. It's no wonder you two are having dinner together. Two talentless twats sticking together. No wonder. And I hated Dance Land. Dance Bill. Reese, you're being emotional and making a scene. And I think you've been entirely unfair to Tara here. I think that you have been unkind to an intelligent and truly delightful girl. You get off on the selfless attention she bestows upon you, but the present of her love is worth far more than your alcoholic daddy issues. <laughs> you smell of Kansas City trailer parks and spam. Bring me Tara's Jean jacket. That was incredible. Wait, how did you know he's from Kansas? Should we have some more drinks? It's my treat. <laughs> sure. <gasps> Do you really think he'll bring back my jean jacket? Mm -hmm. thought I was a helpless little girl? Maybe I should go into acting. <laughs> face paint? Demonic face paint. I don't like trespassers. Well, I don't like to be tied up. Who are you working for? Who are you working for? Are you with the League? Do I look like I'm with the League? It's hard to tell sometimes. 
Listen, if you let me go right now, I won't kill you. I'm trying to keep a low profile. But in 11 hours, 37 minutes, and 19 seconds, my failsafe kicks in, and then I'll be forced to kill you. So hard. You don't know who you're dealing with. No, you don't know who you're dealing with. You see out there, someone is something that belongs to me. And that person is more dangerous, more threatening, more vicious than you could ever imagine. Your place is amazing! Well, I wasn't free. I had to make quite a few sacrifices, let me tell you. But I'm glad I worked myself here. More drinks? Sure. I think if I had your view, I would never leave the window. I'd just sit here all day long and watch as new corporations take over the city. City banks and Starbucks spreading like wildfire. <laughs> You know, I was watching some old movie the other day, and there was a scene shot on the street where I live now. Only it was before the Starbucks and the FedEx and the Whole Foods moved in. And it looked so empty and beautiful. And a little bit scary. It looked like uncharted urban jungle. It looked like another planet, and now, it's just another place to get overpriced brunch. You're talking about Glass Avenue. Yeah, how did you know? Well, I was in that old movie you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's where you shot your big scene for The of Flowers of Fantastico. I am really sorry, again, about accidentally trying to blackmail you. I was in a craze over Reese. I didn't know what I was doing. We all do crazy things over love. I, I once loved someone very much, and the feelings weren't exactly mutual, and... When things didn't work out, I went on this vile rampage. I destroyed everything in sight. Celebrity breakups must be awful. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't read about it on Gawker. Well, whoever broke your heart, he must have been a real douchebag. Actually, she was a real bitch. Oh? Oh, so you're a... I don't really pay much attention to gender. I mean, you saw Fantastico. Yeah, I did. You and those hot purple skin chicks. How did you do that in front of a camera crew? Well, I was young and naive, and I got to choose the girls who'd be in the scene with me. It's really quite fun, and we were really high. <laughs> <laughs> but those red leather cat suits, I would be terrified to put one of those on. I don't know. I think you'd look really good in a red leather cat suit. Thank you. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I would probably need to work out before. Would you? Excuse me for a moment. Mm -hmm. All this talk about cat suits made me want to slip into something a little more comfortable. Gulp. Okay. Tara? Gary, okay, I can't talk long. I'm in Beth Jensen's apartment. What? Tara, breaking and entering is a crime. Get out of there before you get caught. No, she invited me. She's in the next room changing. Okay, I think she's hitting on me. No, she is hitting on me. And I am finding her really, really hot. I think I want to have sex with her. Oh, what do I do? I mean, I'm not gay. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, okay, honey. Listen to me very closely. Okay. If what you're telling me is true, you're really in Ben Jensen's apartment, and she's really hitting on you, and you're not having some sort of mental breakdown. Bet Jensen is hot, and rich, and famous, and that transcends gender. That transcends sexual orientation. You owe it to yourself, and you owe it to me to have sex with her right now. Hello. 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 Tara? Uh, you look pretty, uh, pretty. And 
I think what I'm trying to say is that I have never without a woman, and um, I think you and I are maybe going to, and I just... I don't know whether to kiss you or let you keep talking. You're very adorable when you're nervous. <laughs> Two hundred ninety-nine, two hundred ninety-eight, two hundred ninety-seven, two hundred ninety-six, two hundred ninety-five, two hundred ninety-four. 